Two prominent Somali politicians have gone to Garraway to try and mediate a political situation that has many fearing renewed violence. Barbaric and horrific act. We extend our condolences. Former Prime Minister Omar Shamarki and former Pointland President Abdewali Gass arrived Monday. They were invited by clan elders. We are committed to resolving the impasse. The initial election was conducted commendably, and we hope the remaining issues will be solved satisfactorily. There was voting held in May, but not in all districts, and there have been complaints by the opposition. Fears of violence are real, as on June 20th, fighting broke out in Garraway with at least 20 killed. Sharmarki called those skirmishes an act of war. The act of war that happened today in Garraway could have been avoided. I am calling for a ceasefire and to avoid anything that could cause security instability. <laughs> Since then, Quintland President Saeed Denny has made a major overhaul of the state government, replacing personnel in at least eight ministries. And then the local legislature started work on amending the state constitution. Many expect this will extend Denny's term. On Sunday, the state capitol saw citizens flee areas near the parliament after Speaker Yusuf Jibril's Independence Day speech. He said the Constitution would be amended despite protests. The Garraway police chief called for calm in what has become a tent city. This caused one former Puntland leader to call for action from international partners. I call upon the international community to intervene to prevent actions that endanger Puntland security and undermine the democratic electoral system cherished by our people for the past 24 years. Puntland stability, progress, and democratic integrity must be upheld. It is highly unlikely that anyone from outside Somalia will try and intervene in local politics in Puntland. Even the federal government of Somalia has so far taken a hands-off approach. Sharmarki and Gas will do their best to try and broker a compromise. But in the end, Denny and his allies are likely to do as they like, with other state leaders looking at extensions in a deal with President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud to enact electoral changes, it is unlikely that anyone could or would step in to prevent Denny from doing this. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments across Africa.